Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to get into leadership being a team sport. Okay, leadership is a team sport. Now I know you've seen a lot of uh, CEOs or maybe other types of leaders or people in positions of authority that get in front of the the, the camera or any type of media platform and discuss how you know they made this happen or they accomplished this or through their leadership, blah blah blah. Well. For you leaders that are out there, I need for you to understand that real leaders understand and know that leadership is not a one-man island. Leadership is a team sport. You cannot make things happen. You cannot get things to come to fruition. You cannot take on a challenge and succeed without having a great, skilled, informed team who shares your vision. And, and, the, and the biggest part of making leadership a team sport is the vision piece. You have to find a way to share a unified vision or, or, or portray a shared vision, if you will. One that you have and one that your potential followers have. See, the thing is, everybody may not want to be a leader. And if you're not a leader, you sure as heck want to follow somebody who you feel is a great leader. And in order for great leaders to exist, they have to be able to articulate a shared vision. You see, by human nature, we all want to belong to something or, or, or be a part of something. Something that's bigger than us. Something that has meaning and, and, and purpose. We want to be a part of something that, that, that has something special about it. That, that, that makes it bigger than us. And that's part of the vision. People need to be able to buy into that so that great leaders will have great skilled followers because that's the only way you can get things done is by sharing the vision and making sure that your team or your followers uh, have the right skill set to help see this thing through. If there's one thing that I can't stand and that's some, that someone who's in a position of, of, of authority or leadership to say that they accomplished it all on their own or they did it on their own or by themselves, that couldn't be further from the truth. People, understand, I don't care if you're a CEO, a CFO, a supervisor, or and, and whatever the case is. And it doesn't matter to what magnitude. You could be the leader of your family, the leader of the homeowners association, the leader on the, uh, 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 the PTA. I don't care what it is. Understand that in order to be a great leader... You have to have great skilled followers. You have to be able to articulate a shared vision, something that you and your followers hold true and dear to yourselves, something that's bigger than all of you combined, something that makes you feel a part of something. That's how great leaders accomplish great feats. Look at Martin Luther King. Look at John F. Kennedy. Um, I could go on and on. But if you take a look at all the great leaders in our world, or in history, all up until the present day, you'll see that some of the greatest leaders had some of the greatest followers. Why? Because the leader was awesome at putting together and articulating a shared vision. Something, some event, or some cause that was bigger than all of them. So, just keep that in mind today. I'm, I'm making it brief today. Leadership is a team sport. It's a team sport. It's not a me, myself, and I. Okay? When you're a leader and you have a team or a group of followers, you give up the I for we. We. We made it happen. Okay? Leadership is a team sport. Please remember that. And all that you do and all your successes, please understand that it was somebody or a group of people that helped you to get the thing that you wanted to get or obtain the goal that you set out to obtain. Leadership is a team sport. All right? Remember that. Thank you so much. Uh, this one's a really, really brief one today. But I just want to get right to the point and help you because my mission and my goal is to help each and every one of you enhance your influence on your team. And that way um, become the leader that people want to follow instead of the leader that people have to follow. Okay? Big difference, big difference. I want you to be the person that people want to come to and follow. And say, I like this guy or I like this lady. Okay, I want to follow her. They have what it takes. I, I like their, their morals, their values, the goals. 
I like the way that they get in and work with everybody else. Be the leader that people want to follow and not have to follow, okay? All right, thank you so much. Thank, that, that's my time for today. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see more videos like this or podcasts or even audio clips, uh, just go to my website at www.chadbumgarner.co. And also, I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, you can hit me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Chad underscore Bumgarner. Okay? And also, there's Periscope, guys. Every Wednesday around noon Eastern Standard Time, I try to jump on Periscope and talk about um, the topic of the week. Every week, I'll have a different topic so we can engage and have an intelligent conversation. Because, again, my goal is to make you the leader that people want to follow. Okay? To help you enhance your influence so that you can be the go-to person and be an effective and moral leader. All right? Thank you so much. Have a great day. And remember, great leadership equals great results. How are you leading?